Hello 1013 Honky fans, uh, this is my first official video I guess. In this video I'm just going to talk about the, the trade that happened between Chicago and Pittsburgh. So in this trade we see Chicago receiving Oldy Mata and Pittsburgh receiving Dominic Cahoon in a 2019 fifth round pick. This trade is pretty interesting. Now I'm kind of surprised Chicago would do this. Now I mean, Chicago's defense is like it's not that good of a defense, but it's they've, it's pr got pretty good depth. They've got lots of defensemen. I find it interesting that they do this. And after this trade, I don't I don't think Bowen Byram is who Chicago is going to select at number three. I'm starting to think maybe Turcott, uh, Kirby Dax, Zagras, maybe one of them could be going number three. But I'm starting to doubt that Bowen Byram will be going number three. Um, but no, I think this is a definite win for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Pittsburgh definitely won this trade. Oli, they clear Oli Mata's cap hit, which is a big thing. Like Oli Mata, he he had a really good rookie season. His second year was good too, uh, but he looks slow. And I think the media, the media often shows Mata as worse than what he is. They always they always, they often hate on Mata, which I don't really agree with. He is he's a good defenseman, bottom top four defenseman, but. He's slow. He is. So, uh, maybe a change of scenery will be good for him, and he can play like he did when he was a rookie. But it's going to be interesting to see how it is in Chicago. And then Pittsburgh is receiving Dominic Cahoon and a fifth-round pick. So, Dominic Cahoon had a great season in Chicago last year. I believe he got 37 points in 82 games. Great season. I honestly think Dominic Cahoon would slot nicely in that top six, beside Melkin, Kessel, a little... He would, it's gonna look, it's gonna look nice. Uh, he could even go in the third line beside Bukestad and Hornquist, something like that. It, yeah, I think it's a definite win for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They get a younger forward who has potential and they give up a defenseman who does have some, he could still become what he was in, in his rookie season, but his values dropped quickly and they, he has two years on a $4 million contract and getting rid of that contract Will help Pittsburgh to get an, give an extension to Murray and like resign Can and Schultz next year. Um, I'm gonna give the win to Pittsburgh. Only Mata for Dominic Kuhn in the fifth. Only Mata is a good defenseman, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting how he slots in with Chicago. He's probably gonna be a top six defenseman there because I see them going Keith Seabrook, Yoko Haru, or Gustafsson, Yoko Harju, then Mata, and Connor Murphy. Uh, we'll see next year though. Maybe some of those guys will be traded. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll see next season. So, yeah, it's kind of a surprising trade by Stan Bowman, but we'll see how it goes next year. I think at the moment that the Pittsburgh Penguins won that deal. The second deal that I'm going to be talking about in this video is the Radko Gudis for Matt Niskan deal. Now, when I first saw this, I thought that Philadelphia won. But now looking over it again, I'm actually going to change my mind here and go with Washington winning. Uh, so Washington actually clears a lot of cap space. And with this, they are able to re-sign Carl Hagen, which is a big move for them. Because Carl Hagen is a great penalty killer, good grinder. He's a good player. You want him on your team for sure. So Matt Niskanen, they get rid of his hefty contract. And I personally think Matt Niskanen is better than Radko Gudis, but Matt Niskanen is also older and has a heftier contract. Now, now Washington gets Radko Gudis, and I think what teams are realizing is that you do you don't want all speed and fastness. You want some grit. And now Washington has Tom Wilson and Radko Gudis. I think the two players with the most penalty minutes, something like that. They get two guys who can get down and dirty. So. It's a good move for Washington as they they get cap space so they can re-sign Hagelin. They get Gudis, another guy who can go down dirty. Um, not Niskanen going to Philly, so I'm not sure if this is a great move for Philly. Uh, I think Matt Niskanen is better at offensive production. His defense isn't as great as Gudis, but his offensive production is better. 
Um, I know Madison didn't have the greatest of years last year, but, and then again, it could just be a fluke or he could be getting older and maybe this is a trend. It's going to happen for him. And so if it is, I think Philly definitely lost his trade. But if Matt Niskanen to go back to what he was in current years, which he was a good power play defenseman, I think he could be something special. Um, not like great, obviously, but you know. So yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Washington winning this one. Now they've Gudis and Tom Wilson, which is pretty big. Uh, and then we have Philadelphia with Matt Niskanen. So Philadelphia actually gained some cap, which I don't think is the smartest move for them to do. But we'll see how it turns out next season. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. So both those trades, I think the winners were Pittsburgh and Washington. We'll see what happens next season. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope that you will subscribe and leave a like, comment down below what you think and who you think won the trades. Give your opinions down below. Please make sure you click the little bell beside the subscribe button, and thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. This is 1013 Hockey.